candlelight Oh, my body starts to shiver Worries will I'm on high Oh, I've never felt like this before Got to let it go I'll shout it out I will sing it from the heart This is right, but this is good Expressions of elation A state of mind of which I'll try To re-echo from the start Come on Shout it out And release it from the heart This is what, this is what, this is what it all comes down to Where you need, where you need, where you need to let it all through Shout it out and release it from the heart Echo from the start. Well, in days it strips. There goes a gal, you're the pretty bird And the golden mile that made you feel real She took her thumb to the stars She don't make no big deal And there she sits with them big old fields of daisies And on behalf of Ashley and Chiago and their families I welcome you all here to this very special celebration. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today, especially those of you who have travelled from interstate and overseas. Thiago and Ashley wanted very much to express how deeply grateful they are to have you all here today and in their lives. All of you are those nearest and dearest to them. You all supply them with different aspects of that which they will need to accomplish their goal of living a long and happy life together. And so today gives them the opportunity to celebrate their happiness with their family and friends and to thank them for being such an important part of their lives. For Tiago and Ashley, marriage symbolises the commitment that they are making to each other and the start of the rest of their lives where unconditional love, trust, support and happiness will be the foundation of their journey ahead. 
It is about making a promise to always be there for each other, to be each other's biggest supporters, and to share all the things in life that life will bring, both good and bad, together. It is talking to each other about anything, giving encouragement and being happy and in love today, tomorrow and forever. And now I'd like to invite Beth and Alice to come over and read for us. The key to life is love. It is not possession, but participation. Treasure it, nurture it, and encourage it, with all the honesty used in creating it. The key to happiness is being married to your best friend. This is the one you laugh with, live for, dream with, and love unconditionally. The key to a good marriage is respect, realising that you are two separate people who don't belong to each other, but belong with each other. And the key to today is commitment, a lifelong commitment declared with support of friends and family, two people, but one life before them. Amar, emudar a alma de casa. Eterno outro nosso pensamento. Amar, eter coração que abraza. Amar, eterna vida um acalento. Thank you. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, Alice. In the conversations leading up to today, I must say that I was overjoyed to hear the way in which Ash and Tiago spoke of one another and of their relationship. They have so much love and admiration for one another, and like all great love stories, theirs is a union of two very different people who have complemented and balanced each other in such a way that together they are more than when they are apart. It was once said that falling in love is like being the first to discover the most beautiful thing in the world, to find something so lovely that no one else has even noticed. Love often starts in little ways. It comes quietly with a smile, a glance or a touch, but you know that it's there because suddenly you are no longer alone. The beautiful thing about love is that it is an experience that we share with all people throughout the world. And yet, to everyone who falls in love, it is the most unique and precious thing in the world. Ash and Tiago first met at a hostel in Colombia whilst traveling in South America in December of 2009. Both were traveling with separate groups of friends, many of whom they had met along the way. And whilst they hadn't actually planned to meet up, a few weeks later, they bumped into each other again, just walking down the street in Cusco in Peru. Ash was walking one way and Tiago was walking the other way. And Ash clearly remembers Tiago stretching his arms out wide and giving her the biggest hug with the hugest smile on his face. Sounds like you. After that, they met up again a few weeks later when Ash went to Brazil and they ended up going on a spontaneous road trip down the coast with some friends. Ash was then supposed to continue on to an island called Florianapolis, but Tiago talked her into staying with him and so she ended up staying in Tiago's family home in Sao Paulo for a few days. This time was really special for them both, but especially for Ash who got to see the city where Tiago was born, meet his parents, as well as Nisi, who played an important part in Tiago's childhood. In March of 2010, Ash returned home to Melbourne and for the next few months, they stayed in contact via Skype until Tiago moved to Sydney in June. For the next two years, they traveled back and forth between Melbourne and Sydney as Tiago's work enabled him to travel a lot and eventually, 
Ash decided to move to Sydney to be with him. However, she ended up landing her dream job. And so with Tiago's support, they decided that they would live in Melbourne together instead. Tiago tells me that moving to Melbourne was made so easy by having his sister here, as well as Ash's family, who played a big role in making him feel welcome and a part of their family. Ash and Tiago moved in together in November of 2013 and purchased their first home together just over 12 months later. Tiago and Ashley got engaged in Port Douglas, in front of Ashley's favourite place, a quaint little church by the water that Ash had always talked about as the perfect place to marry. Ash remembers smiling to herself as soon as they left the house because she could sense a change in Tiago and she just knew that he was going to propose. <laughs> Sorry to spoil it. <laughs> Tiago caught her smiling and said, it's not what you think it is, but they both knew and they couldn't help but laugh. Now, in planning for today, I asked Ashley and Tiago to share with me just some of the qualities that they love in one another. And today, I thought I would share with all of you just some of their responses. I'll start with Ashley, who said, Tiago is one of the most genuine people I have ever met. He is kind and generous and is always happy to go out of his way to help others. He is incredibly patient and calm all of the time and constantly makes me feel loved and special. And Tiago said, Ash is beautiful, loving and caring. She is kind towards others and this is expressed in her job, which I am very proud of. She is also smart and usually right about many things. <laughs> But above all, she is my best friend who I love, cherish and hope to have by my side for the rest of my life. Looking forward, Tiago and Ashley are excited about their future together as husband and wife and hope to continue enjoying the simple things in life and eventually create a family together. And now I would like to invite Gabrielle to come forward and read for us. If I was the sun way up there, I'd go with love most everywhere. I'll be the moon where the sun goes down, just to let you know that I'm still around. That's how strong my love is. I'll be the ocean so deep and wide and catch all the tears whenever you cry. I'll be the breeze after the storm is gone to dry your eyes and love you all warm. That's how strong my love is. And now I'm Monique Duggan, a registered marriage celebrant. I'm authorised to solemnise this marriage between Ashley Bree Deutsch and Thiago Tavares Leche de Cruz, <laughs> according to the law. I only said that a hundred times today. <sighs> How'd it go? <laughs> Before you are joined together in marriage, in my presence, and in the presence of these witnesses, your family and friends, I am to remind you of the serious and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to the law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. And now as an expression that your hearts are joined together in love, would you like to turn and face one another? Ashley and Chiago, before your family and friends, do you promise to always remember the great gift that you are to one another and to always maintain the inner connection that your souls share? Do you promise that yours shall be a home in which mutual respect, kindness of disposition and love shall always reign, where you support one another, empower and encourage one another in the spirit of love and hope and faith that joins you here today. And do you promise to be faithful, 
and loving partners. We do. <laughs> Ashley, do you take Tiago to be your husband? I do. And Tiago, do you take Ashley to be your wife? I do. Ashley and Tiago are about to share their vows with each other, a symbol of their deepest commitment to one another. I ask everyone here today to witness that I, Ashley, take you, Tiago, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward for, better or for, worse, for better or for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer, for poorer in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and, to cherish and, I promise to be to you, and I promise to be faithful to you as long as we both shall live. I ask everyone here today to witness, I ask everyone here today to witness that I, Chiago, take you, Ashley, that I, Chiago, take you, Ashley to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Fantastic. Lovely. Okay. Lucas and Jesse, would you like to come forward with those wedding rings, please? Okay, Jesse, good girl. Okay. Okay, thanks guys. You can head back. Well done. Okay. The exchange of rings marks the beginning of your life together as husband and wife. The rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. No giver and no receiver. For each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows that you have taken. Tiago, would you like to take Ashley's ring and place it on her finger? I give this ring as my gift to you. I give this ring as my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Okay, Ash, you've got Tiago's ring. Lovely. If you'd like to place it on his finger. I give this ring as my gift to you. I give this ring as my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Beautiful. Okay, it is now my great honour to be able to pronounce you to be husband and wife. And Tiago, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to have the signing over to the right here. Um, you are welcome to come and take photos for this bit. So if you'd like to take photos, you're very welcome. If everyone else, though, can please remain seated as we do still have a few more words after the signing. Thank you.
everybody. Now, just before we do conclude, Tiago and Ashley have asked me to let everyone know that if you could remain on the grass area for a group photo immediately after our ceremony, that would be great. Drinks and canapes will then be uh, commencing at 6.30 on the terrace, which is up on the path here, a short walk over to our left, facing that direction. Follow the crowd. Ashley and Tiago, as this ceremony comes to a close, I would like to wish the two of you on behalf of everyone here, a wonderful life together. May you continue to rely on each other, laugh with one another, support each other, and grow through your life together with strength, happiness, and love. And now if I can ask everyone to please stand and join with me in again congratulating Mr. and Mrs. Cruz. <laughs>
on the six o'clock news Slow waiting in the mail, I trust you It's getting harder and harder to see through the smoke It's never been easier to overlook It's getting harder and harder and harder to say these days But when I see the smile run across your face in the sunrise lights up another day I believe I believe I woke up in my whole world changed You're the kind of love that gives me faith And I ceremony that was and also what an amazing night this promises to be. Uh, my name's Scott and this, and this is James, probably shouldn't do that with the microphone, <laughs> uh, and we have the honours of uh, being your MCs for tonight. Now, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome for the first time the wonderful newlyweds. Mr. and Mrs. Chago Tavares, Lechi da Cruz.
So obviously, as, as two of Ashley's three brothers, with what we're placed to talk about this beautiful people uh, sitting in front of us this evening. I first met the bronze, topless, surfboard building Brazilian, <laughs> more commonly referred to as Chago, back in December 2009. It was in the streets of Peru that I was first introduced to Ashley's new friend. <laughs> and it soon became evident there was something more special building. And upon our return to Australia, my rather humorous drive without missing him touched a bit of a nerve. And soon enough, Chago made his way to Sydney. And then the fortnightly commutes between Melbourne and Sydney began, Ashley soon becoming accustomed to the Bondi surf lifestyle. Finally, Chago managed to make his way down to Melbourne and they have not looked back since. I might stop you there for a second, James, uh, because before we get too much further, uh, and I know that we've got most of the formalities out of the way already, uh, but there's one more step that needs to be taken before this uh, marriage can become official. So, Chago, um, if you could please complete this sentence for me. Oh, we're from Tiger Land. Our fighting fury, we're from Tiger Land. We'll never weaken until the final siren's gone. Like the tigers of old, we're strong and we're bold. Oh, we're from Tiger. Yeah. That's close enough. That's close enough. That's close enough. Thank you. Well, um, that's a relief, and so I can finally say congratulations, Ashley and Chaga. Now, I believe it's customary for the MC or MCs to provide some words of advice to the new couple. However, I'm not sure there's much we can offer you, to be honest. Any young couple with his comfortable being seen together in matching Qantas pyjamas will be together forever. <laughs> also, Chago, um, you seem to have also mastered the secret of a successful Deutsch marriage. And by that I mean that you've uh, managed to navigate Ken Doidge. <laughs> so, um, after a couple of misfires, like talking during the news or offering your own opinion, you quickly adapted. Uh, and the phrase that you used to adapt was, uh, yes, Ken, I completely agree, uh, as your conversational technique. And I think this has proven to be a genius phrase that you've managed to adapt to pretty much every conversation. Uh, and that, combined with uh, Chago's 24-hour uh, IT service, has held him in good stead. And it's also brought a uh, welcome relief to James and I. So, I guess, we look forward to your continued involvement in the family with the ro rollout of Windows 11. In all serious note, serious aside, these two are made for each other. I can picture so many happy days together in their future. Chago surfing the waves while Ash looks on from the beach, book in hand. And so without further ado, I would now like to welcome the new couple to the microphone to say a few words. thanking everyone for being here today and especially all of you that travel from interstate and overseas thank you very much for being here and today wouldn't be the same without you on my way here I was thinking when I met Ash in South America and I couldn't have picked a better beginning to our story looking back at all the diversities we had at, at the time of living in different countries in different states, we couldn't have overcome them in a better way. And say that moving to Melbourne was the right choice. And for that, I would like to thank all the Deutsches for making me feel comfortable and welcoming me as part of your family. Thank you very much, and I love you all. <laughs> My mom and dad are in the room tonight, and I'd like to thank them for being here. 
and I would like to thank especially for all the opportunities that they gave me growing up. Without that example, I wouldn't be the person that I am today, and for that I'm eternally grateful. Pai, mãe, eu gostaria de agradecer vocês por estarem aqui presente e por todas as oportunidades que vocês me deram durante a vida. Sem o seu exemplo, eu não seria a pessoa que sou hoje e por isso eu sou eternamente grato. And to my beautiful wife. And I'd like to say, and I'd like to say that I couldn't have chosen a better person to spend the rest of my life. With. Thank you. My turn. I always had a feeling that I was going to meet someone really special. Just before I met Tiago, I was reading The Alchemist a book by Paulo Coelho, who coincidentally is a Brazilian novelist. The book talks about how the whole universe will conspire to give you exactly what you need when you need it. Tux, you weren't only what I needed, but even more special than I could have imagined. Thank you for loving me completely, supporting me endlessly, and always making me smile. I remember when we first started going out, I thought I'd be so lucky if I even got to go out with you for just a year. And now I get to keep you for a lifetime. <laughs> Thank you to everyone in this room for coming tonight. For us, having a wedding was really about having all of the people that we love in the one room to celebrate and to say thank you for being a part of our lives. We are so lucky. Mum and Dad, thank you so much for all your never-ending support, encouragement, and most of all, love. I couldn't have achieved all that I have without you. Thank you also for trusting me all those years ago when I bought home a Brazilian that I met backpacking in Colombia. <laughs> Obrigada, Mady e Joel. Por vir em todo o Brasil para o nosso casamento. Nós estamos muito felizes em ter vocês aqui presentes e esperamos poder aproveitar muito esses próximos dias juntos. <risos> already done an amazing job and I know it will stay that way. <laughs> and to my amazing sister Liv for all your support leading up to the wedding and today. Thank you also to all my wonderful friends and family for all your love, particularly over the last few weeks. I hope everyone has a great night tonight and I look forward to seeing you all on the dance floor later on. <laughs> on the evening where we commence with the speeches um, and to get us started I would like to invite the father and mother of the bride, uh, Kevin Marge, to come forward please.
Yep, hold up close. Okay. First off, Paul, a, a big welcome to Australia, to Shago's parents, Jody and Milk, Matey, and Johnny Milk. Congratulations, Ashley and Shago, on your wedding day today. Ash, you are definitely your father's uh, daughter, good looking, <laughs> determined, focused, with a great work uh, ethic and, good, and a good sense of humour. <laughs> uh, all except. Hmm? Ah, Bev, sorry. All except uh, attributes. I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of what you have achieved so far in your studies and your career. To be in your position at the Royal Children's Hospital at your age is a remarkable achievement. So, I, so I'm told. <laughs> and your ongoing dedication to to your masters is uh, a, a tremendous credit to you. Mum and I are extremely proud of the wonderful young lady you have developed into. We could not have asked for a better daughter. Shago, you are a fantastic bloke and you are well loved by everyone in our family. You are always smiling and mostly and most importantly you always make Ashley smile too. For that I cannot thank you enough. You are almost also my um, IT man, much appreciated. <laughs> even even and even managed just to do that with a smile, which, which is more than I can say for Scott and James. <laughs> We have a very large family, as most of you would know, and I'm so proud of how close they, are all, they all are. Uh, you have been a fantastic addition to the George clan, Chargo, and I know that uh, you will continue to love and support Ashley on your journey through life together. I'll now pass uh, over to Marge. <laughs> and Chago, congratulations on the special occasion of your wedding. Ashley, I am incredibly proud of the person you are. Loving, loyal, caring, kind and thoughtful. Always happy to give freely of yourself. You have a real generosity of spirit. You are a wonderful daughter, sister, sister-in-law, auntie and friend. You love unconditionally and will never let anyone down. You are always there to support others. I feel very honoured not only to be your mum, but a good friend. I am so proud of your achievements. You strive for excellence and have such a strong work ethic. Your dedication to those that you work with is truly heartwarming. I have thoroughly enjoyed our journey through life. Watching twins grow and mature is extra special and very rewarding. My baby girl has grown into a beautiful woman with a gorgeous heart. Chago. Chago, welcome into our family. You bring honesty, integrity, thoughtfulness and kindness. And like Ash, a wonderful generosity of spirit. You are a true credit to yourself and your parents. And I cannot thank them enough for the fine young man they have raised. Since Ash met you, Chago, I have seen her blossom. 
you are always there supporting and encouraging her. You share something truly special. You can feel the love you have for one another in your presence. Whether it is a hint of a smile or sharing a private laugh, it is clear that you complement each other perfectly. I know you will always love and protect Ash on your journey through life. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness together forever. Now in, in Brazil they call him John Leishi, but in Australia we call him Johnny Milk. I'd now like to welcome the father of the groom, Johnny Milk. Sabemos que o nosso filho está casando muito bem. E a família Quero agradecer a presença de todos, um abraço e quando for ao Brasil, São Paulo, nossa casa está às suas ordens, às ordens de todos. Um abraço. She said that she ever wants to come to Brazil, her house is at your disposal. 
she also listed out all Ash's qualities one by one, which is organized, uh, smart, <laughs> intelligent, and a few other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I'd like to invite the sister of the bride, Olivia, to say a few words. I can remember the moment when Mum and Dad told us that Mum was pregnant. We're in the lounge room that's undergoing major DIY renos with missing ceiling and walls. Dad was sporting an impressive moustache and Mum's 80s fashion was on point with a vivid green skirt and black jumper with bold flowers. I remember these details so clearly because the news that I was going to have a baby sister and brother created a bubble of pure love and happiness. There she is on, and that bubble is forever expanding. Ash has the most golden of hearts, and genuinely cares when a family member or close friend has a problem. And she'll do everything in her power to fix it. You can trust her with anything, and know that she will carefully listen to your concerns and then provide compassionate and thoughtful advice. I actually refer to her as my little big sister. As more often than not, it is me seeking guidance from her. She is a protector, fiercely loyal of those close to her, and always stands up for what she believes in and what is right without fear. Her honesty is another special trait, and she'll never shy away from speaking her mind and telling the truth. Ash is spirited and energetic, with an, with an ability to make any situation entertaining. When she was little, our Nana nickname, nicknamed her the English one for her mysterious streak, which she still owns today. She's incredibly generous and will always make time for you, even when her schedule is jam packed. Ash has a truly beautiful core, and to quote Ben Harper, she really does have diamonds on the inside. With these traits, and being one of the babies of the family with five siblings, it was never going to be an easy feat for her to meet someone who we all thought was good enough to be her husband. Please enter Chargo Cruz. From the very start, Chargo won over our family with his kindness of hearts, brilliant sense of humour, selfless and caring nature. There are not many who would take a day off work to help their neurotic future sister-in-law move house. And also his willingness to help Dad with every chore under the sun, particularly the 24-hour tech support. <laughs> but most importantly, he provides Ash with immense love, support and care. He truly understands our Ash and always has her back and never fails to make her smile and laugh. We are so grateful that our Ash has found someone who doesn't diminish her sparkle but rather provides the fuel to make it beam. It is obvious to all that Ash, Ash and Charles are just meant to be. I'm over the moon that today my baby sister and best friend marries her forever person. The one. When the one whose hand you're holding is the one who holds your heart, when the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your hopes and dreams their start, when the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight, and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through. An honor to be here tonight to offer a few words and speak about things that apparently shouldn't be said. Um, 
When I, um, for those who don't know me, my name is Mariana. I've met Tiago when he was 16. We've worked together and I have cheered and supported many of his achievements. When, um, when I said things um, shouldn't be said, it was only because Thiago has a nickname, right? And just recalling this moment, only one, one specific moment in Mario's years in Brazil, when we were going out with, with Thiago's friends from Siemens, he asked us, please don't call me that anymore. You know, I don't, I've had enough, that's it. And we tried, you know, I remember the boys, really, they tried so hard not to disappoint him. Um, but midnight comes and, you know, the song stopped and on the end of the nightclub, on the other end, this guy that didn't know us, wasn't with us, knew Thiago, screams from um, really loud, as loud as he could, Animal, great to see you here! <laughs> So he had to explain for everyone, you know, and um, um, so for those who don't know, Thiago's nickname is also known by animal in the Brazilian community. <laughs> he has told me probably about a hundred times why the boys started calling him that, but I, I can't remember. <laughs> I think it has to do with pets not surviving or when he was a child or something. I don't think he killed them, or maybe he did. And that's why he had to flee from Brazil, and he missed this beautiful woman, and, uh, and he can even change his name, and nobody will find him. But um, yeah, when we met Ashley, uh, we all wanted this to work. We were like, we thought, Chad, this time you cannot fuck this up. <laughs>
our wonderland No, I won't forget our wonderland
can't see the sink or swim Can't hold back your light and expect to win Gotta go harder, oh you've gotta learn Don't suppress your fire, baby, let it burn Be who you are Nobody can take that away from you Oh, straight from the heart No playing games You gotta be Cause you got time to figure it out <laughs>